Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install JAF, uh, the Nokia JAF unlocking box, um, unlocking flashing box, this device here. This is a genuine JAF, not a copy. I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows 7 64 bit because there doesn't seem to be many good documentation tutorials around for doing this. So I'm going to show you in as least a confusing way as possible how to do it. All the links for this video are in the uh, YouTube video underneath the video, so you'll be able to find them there. Um, the first thing we have is a file called JAF62, um, which we extract. It's JAF62.zip. Extract that to JAF62 using WinRAR. And there's also a file here called JAFX64, which is your 64-bit 64 64-bit 64 drivers for the JAF box. So you've got now got a folder called JAF62. Double click it. Again, you'll see a file here called JAF Setup 1.98.62. Right click that, go to Properties, Compatibility, Compatibility Mode, tick the box and ensure that Windows XP Service Pack 3 is selected or maybe Service Pack 2 if you've got an older version of Windows 7 or Vista. And also tick the box Privilege Level, run this program as an administrator. Tick that, apply, OK. Do not install this JAF box. Do not plug the JAF box into the computer until you've followed the uh, first step, which is in to in install this file here, which also installs the drivers. Do not plug the JAF box in first. OK, now you want to right click that JAF setup 1.98.62, right click it, run as administrator, and the JAF setup will, uh, will launch. Agree, install to see program files x86 on 64 bit Windows 7, slash ODN slash JAF install. Um, it says something about my, about my Nokia cable driver here, I'm not sure what this is, but. I'll just click yes on that. So we're now installing Jeff, which will take a minute. Computer sound like, sounds like it's working really hard. <laughs> okay. Now this uh, window security alert will pop up. You want to tick on, uh, click on install this driver software anyway. And a few more of those will pop up, so just click on install driver anyway because it's very safe. And also, an error message may pop up. Ignore that and that. Just ignore those error messages. Here we are again. Install this driver software anyway. And again, It'll take a bit of time, but it will. And again, it will install. Almost done. No, it's finished. Now click close. Now the next step is to go to start, computer, C, program files x86, Odeon, JAF. Right click the JAF icon, which looks like some toy blocks, as you can see here. Right click that, properties. In a second the interface will come up and you can, let's try it again, right click, properties, come on, what are you doing? There we go, compatibility, tick as before, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP, run as administrator, apply, OK, go to JAF-COM emulator, right click it, 
properties, compatibility, XP, administrator, apply, OK. Um, I think it's best to do them all actually. JAF logger, right click, properties, compatibility, XP, administrator, apply, OK. Peaky access, right click, properties, compatibility, XP, administrator, apply, OK. There's also another file in here which I can't find. <clears throat> Maybe it's in, I got to close this window. Maybe it's in JAF 62. Ah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. It's the JAF Peaky emulator. Peaky emulator means you don't have to have a physical Peaky to use JAF. Right click the install. That's in your JAF 62 folder which you've downloaded, which you extracted from the zip file. Properties. OGM JAF Peaky Emulator in V3 install.exe compatibility XP administrator apply OK. Now right click this, run as administrator. A foreign language, I don't, I'm not sure what language this is, excuse my ignorance, will pop up. Just keep pressing next, keep pressing the bold button and uh, it's asking to install to C program files OG and JAF. No, you want to install to C program files space bracket x86 OG and JAF, which is you, you click on the three dot button here, you go to computer, C program files x86 OG and JAF. OK, that's the correct path for installing. Here. Next, again, it's now installing the uh, PK emulator. Be done in a second. So then you press quitter, which means quit. Okay, close that. Now go back to uh, computer. C. Program files x86, Odeon, JAF. We now have another file installed called OGM JAF Peaky Emulator 3, which is the emulator obviously for Peaky. Right click that, properties, compatibility, XP, administrator, apply, OK. Right, the next step is to install the drivers for 64 bit for the JAF box. So get your USB cable and with the uh, the chamfered angled rounded corners at the top plug it into the USB port on the back of the JAF box Windows will now try and find drivers but not succeed see it's trying to search Windows update that's not going to happen because Windows doesn't know what this thing is okay just let it fail close Start, computer, right click, manage. Um, now go to, where's device manager? There we are, device manager. You see this uh, unknown device, it JAF flash interface. Highlight it, right click it, update device driver software. Browse my computer for driver software. Browse again. My folder, my X, my JAF X64 is on the, on the desktop, so I go to JAF X64, just highlight that, the, the root folder of that folder. OK, next, install this driver software anyway. It's a very pretty little box of little lights, isn't it? Very uh, attractive, like a little disco. Um, very very bright LEDs. Anyway, so it's now installing the uh, JAF flasher interface from this folder here. I mean, yours, you may have saved yours somewhere else, so just browse to where your, yours is. 
Okay, it's now installed the Jaff Flash interface. Close. Now, I had, yeah, here we go, this USB serial port. What's this? It says here. Yeah, USB serial port, no driver found. So I'll close that. Right click USB serial port. Update driver software. Browse. Same location as before. Mine is uh, my desktop, Jaff X64. Next. Install the driver software anyway. And that will be the final step, installing the drivers and uh, allowing the machine to recognise it. There we go. So, you know, I now have Jaff port on COM5. Jaff port on COM5. So, close device manager. I can now go to computer, C, program files x86, ODN, Jaff. Now, what I do, I drag OGM Jaff Peaky Emulator V3 to the taskbar for a shortcut. It now appears here. What you do, you click that, Peaky Emulator launches. My antivirus pops up and says, this is a suspicious program. So I've terminated it now. You may want to go to your antivirus. Mine is Avast. I go to right click, open Avast interface. You want to go, <coughs> excuse me, you want to go to your exclusions. Okay, so I go to settings, exclusions. Well, it should be in there because it's under there. It's, uh, I've, I've given it all of program files at x86 as an exclusion. But anyway, I'll add another one. Browse. C. Program files x86. Odeon. Jaff. And select, select that, OK. So I've told it to exclude that from its listing to scan. Now, let's try it again. Oh well, it's doing it again. So when it finishes, when it, when it finishes scanning the file, I will um, tell it to allow it to run normally. In a second, this antivirus will stop. Okay, open in sandbox. No, open normally. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that should allow it to run. Try again. Okay, this time it's run and no antivirus alerts have popped up, that's good. So now this file, which which is the emulator, which in turn launches the Jaff interface software, um, it's now been excluded from antivirus. You may want to look into um, how to do it on your particular antivirus suite, how to exclude software. Uh, now you want to select Random Peaky Rascal SN and Jaff Main and press Go. It's now starting the uh, emulator. This uh, Windows Fireball thing pops up. Press Allow Access. It's now the anti my antivirus has popped up saying Odeon Jaff.exe um, is suspicious. Well, he thinks it may be suspicious. So what I'm going to do? Okay, it's now terminated itself because because it, uh, my antivirus thinks it's suspicious. Open normally. Okay. Go away out my face. Press Go again. And now Jaff is starting. And you'll see Jaff version 1.98.62. It's found the P key, which is the emulator. Has it found Jaff? Where's Jaff? Well, there you go. Box status ready. So um, let me close this and start again. Close that, close that. Launch the emulator. Make sure that's selected. Random P key, Rascal SN, Jaff main. Go. Okay. You can actually minimise this emulator. Um, yeah, I think it's found it. Well, the box it says it says it's ready, so I presume it's installed. There you go. Um, ah, there we go. Yes, sorry, I missed that one out completely. Must be going blind. Detected Jaff interface version 01B1 driver version 40,000 library version 30112. Okay, so it's working. Close the emulator after closing Jaff. 
Um, there's your firmware. This is my RH37. This is my Nokia 3220 firmware, which I want to um, install to be able to, to be able to flash and upgrade, downgrade, repair my 3220s. But I'm sure you know how to install uh, firmware. So that's it. Thanks very much. God bless you. Goodbye.